Alaraki and, and Carl Smith looking to make good ground as he ball goes down the line. He's on side here, going down the right side. Stones have got men in the box. It's a good delivery. Oh, and there's Nathan Ferguson. He couldn't quite get on top of the ball. I think he was perhaps put off thinking that, uh, that Andre Burley was going to win that header, but he missed it. And he couldn't quite get over the bounce of the ball. Oh, and the Oxford City fans away under the uh, Alan Couchstone. Making themselves heard. Kretschmar wins the ball. It's a lovely bit of interplay. And Bowen picks up on the left-hand side. Goes wide to Alarakia. Squares up more. Oh! Delightful. Bit of skill from Alarakia. And he does well. And he's direct. But Moore's across the cover. And high with a... Heavy touch there, and it sets up a chance for Crutchmar. And there's Campbell, and again, and he can't get his shot away. High recovered well from that very poor touch. Stone really can't stress the importance of the uh, the first goal in the in the Stones games out here. And Pedder brings the ball forward and strikes from distance. Ward pushes it out, perhaps slightly into the danger area, but uh, Max Kretschmar and Nathan Ferguson in those pockets. But the pair of Smith and the trail hunt for you is uh, making it pretty difficult as Bowen overplays. Alarakia does well. There's an overlap again here, and Ferguson now finds a little bit of space. Can he drive forwards? Does well. Finds a bit of space. Goes for a shot early, and that's a good effort for Ferguson. That's where he's at his best. Shout for handball there, and well, Rafferty Pedder's just got slightly the wrong side of Taran Alarakia. Oh, that's a chance. It's a very good chance for, I think that was a Fosu coming in off that left-hand side. That's home there, forced home there by Nathan Ferguson. That's another direct pass, picked up by McEachern, who's had a quiet start to this game, but gets his first opportunity to drive forward, and he's skipped past two challenges there, and that's probably going to be a yellow card for Jack Cook. And there you see the danger of McEachran when he gets the ball down and runs. Parker, who's lining it up. The Antiguan International. Recently been away for another spell for the uh, CONCACAF qualifiers. So four in the Stones wall, five if uh, Campbell joins in here. Upsets Parker. It's a top effort. Wow, what a strike. That's a fantastic free kick. And almost out of nowhere, Oxford City have, have the lead. Truly cracking free kick that from Parker. Swung in and oh, my father flaps it in. It comes out to Bowen who missed kicks and really well placed. Charlie Barker does really well, skips away. Stands up across to the back post. And there's Jaden Mundell Smith. It's a great save from Hay. How many chances do Stones need here? Mundell Smith goes down this left, left hand side looking for a corner. Goes back to Carl Smith. There's only two in the box here for Stones. That's a beautiful ball in. And it goes all the way in. And Stones are level. Carl Smith with his first goal for the club. Going to loosely give an assist there for Max Kretschmar because it was his, his deep run into the box there that I think took a couple of defenders away and probably got in the eye line of, uh, of Chris Hay there. And a good battle there between Parker and Barker all game. Parker's a uh, real handful up there. Up into the channel again and Mundell Smith clears. Campbell... Didn't know much about it, but Mitch Roberts looking for the run of Pedda. And here it comes out to McEachran, who goes for goal. It's probably trickling wide of uh, Jed Ward's right-hand side, but he claims it fairly comfortably all the same. Checks to come back in. There's no one near him. That's slightly disappointing. Cook did really well there, but Stone slow it down again. a lovely ball. Kretschmar takes it well on the turn. 
looks into the feet of Campbell. He's got his man pinned here. Good turn. Shot comes in. Good block. Gets another go. Oh, shout for handball. A third swing from Campbell, but uh, got crowded out there by the Oxford City defence. Good play from the Stones, though. Nathan Ferguson recovers and finds Jaden Mundelsmith, who steps into a bit of space. Finds Taranel Arakir out on Dead Fox Corner, who squares up to Fari Moore. Shifts on onto his left hand side. It's a good clearance by Andre Burley. Stones can't really get a clean shot. Comes in from Cook, who has another go. And it comes to Sam Bowen, who fires Will Stone in front. His fourth goal of the season. Picked it up really well uh, from a couple of block shots from Jack Cook. Strode into the box and calmly slotted past Chris Hay. And Stones have started this second half on the front foot. And they've taken the lead. They've turned around the deficit. And Sam Bowen fires Willstone ahead. Willstone 2, Oxford City 1. Be content to protect what they've got and try and bring Oxford out a little bit. I know certainly what the... Uh, what the vast majority of the bullet will be wanting. There's a bit of space in the middle here for the trail. Humphrey Ewers, who fires him from distance, but it's a fairly routine save for Jed Ward. It's a lovely deep cross, looking for that of Campbell. It comes out to Bowen again, who sets himself up. And what a strike from Sam Bowen. Beautiful finish. The deep corner was looking for Tavon Campbell. It was half cleared by Burley. It found its way out to Sam Bowen, who took one touch and has guided a beautiful shot into the top corner. That's his fifth of the season, his second of the night. And it's Willstone 3, Oxford City 1. Turned around their deficit. They were 2-0 down. It's a lovely ball in from Bowen. Finds Campbell. Squares up. Gets a strike off. Oh, and he's shot the base of the post. Really intelligent play. Lovely pass from Bowen. So my next trivia question is, who is the last Willstone player to score a league hat-trick? Trying to wrap my brains thinking of that. Not sure we've had one in the National League, but... I might be wrong. Now, Oxford City got a bit of space out there as Parker elects to shoot from what a save that is by Jed Ward. Josh Parker picked it up from all of 30 yards and he went for goal early. It took a deflection off of, I think, Charlie Barker and it looked like it had wrong footed Jed Ward, but he recovered well and he's, he's tipped that over from underneath his bar. Really good save there from Jed Ward. Which is characteristic that lets him down. McEachran. Chips into Parker, who does well. And Ped has come across to this left hand side now. And there's that man, Mundell Smith. The space down this left hand side. Oh, it's the wrong choice from Ferguson. And Ped has got. Steps in field. And goes for goal. Didn't really get hold of the strike. Jedward saves. Who scored against Woking? My mind's letting me down. That's Pella cuts his side again. He's got Rennie. Ooh. It's a stabbed effort that it skidded through off a, off the turf through a, a raft of bodies, and for a second, Ward looked like he was. Uh, What we've seen of uh, of Oxford today, that you can understand why they're struggling, especially away from home. Um, I think it's going to be a, a lot on what uh, what they can bring by players coming back in. That's Kretschmar does well to win ahead of there in the box and stays down. And Pedder picks up the ball. He's got the run of uh, Mitch Roberts on the outside, but Carl Smith does really well. And that's a good searching ball that field for Tav Campbell. He's Two on one, he's got no one within 50 yards of him. Under pressure from, from Andre Burley. He's got absolutely nothing, still nothing on. And he rather wastefully gives it away, although he has my sympathy there. Parker with a lovely little reverse pass, and McEachran 
put Sanderson in the way down this right hand side. Shot comes in. Always travelling wide of Joe Board's goal. Uh, maybe signs there that Stone's getting a few tired legs out there. Got a bit of space to run into down this right hand side. Brandon Mason's herring into the box from the left hand side. Can Smith pick out a pass? He can! No, he can't. And Sean O'Darker has somehow missed from underneath the crossbar. Mundell Smith with a shot from distance. I can only assume it was slightly behind him. <laughs> it's a lovely bit of play.